I never thought this would happen. I'm done. I quit. I quit my dream university degree. You see, every young person is faced with a decision, whether they should go to college or university or leave in the pursuit of something generally more risky but has a higher reward. You see, most people take the first path, most people take the easy path, college. It's a path laid out for you and it guarantees you some level of success. It allows you to have a social environment, make new friends, you know, and join communities and, and have a fun time and experience new things. However, the few who go against the grain, those who dare to escape the restraints of what they are told, what is normal, get a chance at massive success. You see, it was always my dream to go to university, you know, I always wanted to be that jack physio and study physiotherapy. My whole life, my grandparents and my parents, everyone always said to me to go to college and work hard on your degree and, you know, be a doctor or be a physio. It was always shoved down my throat and it would be crazy if I didn't go. And I was convinced as well, I stuck up literally on my wall for months, a picture of the exact degree I wanted and I dedicated my life to making it. I literally used to pop pills that helped me focus at the detriment to my mental health. I cut off all my friends, I literally, during lockdown, stayed inside my room for six months straight and basically just threw my health away in the, for the pursuit of a degree. And this degree was a very hard degree, it had an ATAR of 99.5, which if you're from Australia is one of the highest degrees, so I knew I had to dedicate my life for it. And knowing me, of course I did, and I made it by a mark of 0.25. I was so happy, finally I made my dream course. I always wanted to be a physio to help the younger version of me that no physio could really help because you see I had a past of, you know, severe injuries and always had really bad shoulders and, you know, I was really just left with no hope because these physios were, generally speaking, really bad and I always wanted to help that kid who couldn't help me. I always wanted to help that younger version of myself in another kid. I had this visualization of being this really jack physio who was really empathetic and really dialed in with the latest research and yeah, I just really wanted to be the best in the industry. There was absolutely no doubt in my mind, I wanted to be a physio, I knew what I wanted to be and I made my course and this was going to happen. However, as the course came around, over that summer, my health seriously deteriorated. I couldn't focus without pills, my binge eating habits took way over control without medication and I got really fat, depressed and hated my life. I was still deeply suffering and I remember turning up to the lectures of the course and it was literally so unbearable I could not even sit through them. So it did pain me but I did defer my course to next year or this year and it was a really hard decision because it was my dream, right? So throughout this last year was a very painful year. I was struggling massively and that's when I came across the carnival diet about six months ago. It literally changed my life in words that I cannot explain. Within two weeks the arthritis was gone, I was able to walk again. The chronic debilitating back pain that I literally could not get out of bed was gone in a matter of months. My acne went, my binge eating went, I got off my antidepressants, I got off my ADHD pills, and I, I literally just got my life back. So finally, I found the missing piece of the puzzle. I'm actually healthy again, I'm productive again, I'm able to actually focus. So I went back to university this year to finally do my physio degree. So fast forward to the start of this year, I started my course, I was studying well, everything was well, I was making friends except for a few guys who got a bit pissed off that I was just eating meat at uni. And everything was going well, I was learning about anatomy, physiology, um, the body, biology, and it was all great. However, just around a week ago, I, I just reflected and came to the realization that physio wasn't actually the thing that helped me. The physical side wasn't enough. It was the actual nutrition that helped me and I don't know if I could be a physio for the rest of my life just helping people in the physical when I am so passionate and purposeful about the nutrition side and the mental side. I mean, the physical is easily the least important. It definitely would be the nutrition first and then the mental and then the physical. So I realized I didn't want to spend the next four years studying a super hard course, you know, studying my room heaps for something that I'm not extremely passionate about. And, and I just couldn't really picture myself as a physio with this new realization that I had because I know deep down I just want to tell the people to actually eat right. I want to tell them to cut out cedars. I want to tell them to be on a carnival diet, but I wouldn't be allowed to prescribe nutrition advice as a physio. Plus, there's a few other negatives with the uni, such as a massive debt you have to pay after, plus, you know, studying for four years instead of going straight into the workforce. But with all things taken into account, I actually quit my course a few days ago. You may be thinking it's a rash decision and a really risky decision, but if you know me, I like to take risks and every single time I've taken in a risk in my life, it's paid off every single time. You know, you may be thinking, well, what's the plan now? You've gone full crazy, you eat only meat, you don't eat any veggies, you've left your dream university course, you've moved out, what, what's next? To be honest, I don't completely have a concrete plan for what is next, but I just know I will make it work. I mean, I have some ideas, some, I mean, I'm still working a part-time job to pay the bills. I have some, 
you know, business ideas and things that I know I want to pursue in the future. But I just know this is a risk that is necessary. And I know that it is necessary to also help kids that were in my shoes. My goal of all of this was to help the younger version of myself, right? So I have to be spending a lot more time on this YouTube channel and, and providing actually real value to you guys, not just regurgitating the same carnival message. I'm going to be providing more real value, things that would genuinely change someone's life, the younger version of myself's life. And, and I think that that is the way forward. And I just know that I keep learning, keep developing myself and keep pushing forward that this is the right path to take. I just wake up with so much purpose now and passion. I actually can do what I actually enjoy to do and actually can get paid for it in the form of YouTube. Obviously, it's not a lot, but it just excites me that I can actually learn about things that I want to learn about without just, you know, reading through textbooks and being forced to memorize a certain concept. I mean, I'd always, you know, go back at the lecturers a little bit and ask them why why this is and always be asking questions. And it, it just really is so empowering now that, you know, the world is my oyster. It's in my hands. I can, I can choose what I want to do with my life now. If you're interested in my journey and my plans going forward and you want to help me spread the message of a carnival diet and, you know, improving your life through ancestral habits. So yeah, that was the video for today. If you're interested in my journey and the plans going forward, you know, in the future, in the promoting the message of a carnival and an ancestral lifestyle, you know, feel free to leave a comment below, hit the subscribe button. It really helps the message go out there. I'd really appreciate that. Um, and yeah, leave a comment below what your thoughts are um, about university, about if it was a bad decision for me quitting, if it was a good decision and yeah, just any ideas and I'll see you guys in the next one.